Hello, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. This tutorial is an educational tutorial. It should not be shared, copied, or linked. Okay, um, someone has a question on how to remove objects. Here's the object. Just do the image trace and bring it in. Okay, we're going to click here. We're going to blow this up. Okay, you're going to come over here and, and we'll pick a smaller object like this. Bring it over here. Oops. I tell you. Canvas and me some days do not agree. Alright, so we're going to make it big enough that we're going to cover this top part. Okay, try to get it as perfect as you need, and if you need to, ooh, come up here and blow the size of the mat up. Okay, so <clears throat> click out of all of it, come up, highlight everything. Now I right click and hit subtract and that should clear that top object off of there just like that alright so that's what you'll be left with in canvas you can go up here to your project title hit download but you can do that for any object that you want removed any piece and it's you know permanently into there like like this was um, you just grab a shape bring it over put it next to there um, get it as close as you can like right now there's a little bit piece hanging over right there so I could have got it a little closer which means I should have you know increased this but this is just a quick educational tutorial to show you how to do it all right okay so that's canvas okay so here's the object here in um, scale so what we want to do is kind of the same thing. I'll show you some different uh, techniques in Scale here because there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. Um, the first one is just like in Canvas where you can grab the little box of jigger here and try to get it as close to there as you can. And again, you can come down here and you can blow it up. Of course, everything is in the way. Um, and see, you know, what it'll look like when you're done. Which, this is where I actually like using the knife better and using the node editing tools. But that is just me. That's why I'm going to show you the different techniques. Um, I want to give you all your own choice what you want to do. Um, okay, so. Let's. I'm going to change this to 33 so that we can get a better view of everything. So I'm going to take this. <clears throat> I'm going to hit that bring to the front so that I am sure that it's in the front. Because sometimes it does not matter what you do. You can swear that thing's in the front because you just laid it on top. But when you hit subtract, boom, it all goes wonky. All right, so path back minus front and there it is so that's what that looks like that way all right looks pretty good but if you did not want to do it that way if you wanted to use the node editing tools in the knife let's bring this a little bit bigger actually we'll bring it up a little to a hundred percent so that we can see these things um, we were going to take the knife um, and this is one that if you long hold, you can get knife and crop, okay? And that is a long hold on the left key. You push and you hold. All right, so we're going to put it right here, click, and hold. I'm clicking and holding on the uh, left mouse key, dragging across. So that red line will show you where it's going to cut. So I bring it over. I just let it sit there, and then I release. And it looks like nothing happened. But when you come over here and you grab your selection tool um, and you, and it's going to do it not responding. 
Okay, and you grab the selection tool. Let me back this down a little bit. Okay. You can pull it apart. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do now <clears throat> is we're going to grab the node editing tool. And you see the little nodes pop up here. So what we do is we come up here, and the plus sign is at the end of the little arrow, which means when I grab it, it's not going to shoot off. It doesn't have the wavy part at the end, which is good. That's what I want to see. So I'm going to grab it, I'm going to push, and I'm going to hold. I'm still holding it. I'm going to bring it over here, match it up with the other one, and then I'm going to click it again, which will release it. Okay, and then I'm going to also hit Escape now. All right, so there it is. Go up here. And go to 50%, and there it is. Um, when I'm doing kind of a detailed um, <clears throat> thing that needs to have, like, the perfect edges, um, you know, where it can't have an overhang, things like that, I prefer to use the node editing tools um, as compared to using the box and things like that. Because sometimes when you use the boxes or when you bring the shapes up and you set it alongside it, sometimes you can leave little lips. I don't like that. But it is all your own preference. So that's why I showed you all three different um, ways to do things. Two in Scal and one in Canvas. Alright guys, have a good day.